Tell us what you thought. It was alright. It was cool. I liked it. Hi, we're Alicia and Jared and welcome to another episode. Join us as we travel around Australia in our Sprinter van, Mali. Subscribe and let's see what this beautiful country has to offer. Okay, next stop is... Sediment Campground. Springbrook National Park. Our campground is the end of the... Um, Gold Coast Hinterlands Great Walk, I think it's called. Oh really? Yeah, it's a three day hike. So we've booked our campground for tonight. We just had to register online, print this out and leave it on our van. Tempting as it is to just kind of hang out in that campground the whole time because it's super peaceful in there. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go check out the Purling Brook Falls. We're doing a loop hike, so we're going uh, up to the falls, and I think there's a few other falls along the way, like smaller ones as well, so we'll check them out, see what we can photograph. Got all that camera gear with us, tripod, filters, all that kind of good stuff. So let's try to get some nice photos out here. We can hear water now, so I think we've made it to the eastern lookout of Purling Brook Falls. Let's go see what that's like. So apparently it hasn't rained for a while. It, uh, yeah, there wasn't too much of a fall at all. Just nothing, just kind of a, a drizzle, but it was still very beautiful. So we're gonna continue the walk now. We're gonna do the Purling Brook circuit uh, and go down to the bottom of the falls, look back up, see what that's like. Apparently it's easier if you do it clockwise. So we're gonna do that. You go down some stairs and then hike around through the rainforest and then back up. So let's hit the trail. Jared being all experimental with the camera through the ferns of the beautiful sun. And we're back at the start now. So that was what, like two hours hiking around? Yeah. Maybe we stopped to take tons of photos though. And it was really pretty down there, like kind of tropical and almost felt like Jurassic Park. But back here at the top of the trailhead and now a short walk back to the van. And I heard Alicia's cooking me dinner tonight. <laughs> You wish. What are uh, mushroom pesto. Ooh, my fave. We crossed the border to Queensland to try and get away from the cold. And look, it is chilly. I'm wearing my hoodie. It's freezing up I here. I have my down jacket on. Ah, but it's okay. Anyway, so we've had a bit of a lazy morning this morning, just kind oh. of catching up with work. I was going to say, it hasn't been lazy. We've been working. True. <laughs> catching up on a bit of admin stuff, editing some photos. Alicia's been doing some video stuff. So now we are just about ready to go and check out another spot here in Springwood mm -hmm. National Park. I think we're going to go to Twin Falls. Yeah, Twin Falls. And then tomorrow we'll do the Natural Bridge. Yeah, yeah. that sounds good to me. All right, so. Let's get out of here. This is where you start to go to the Twin Falls circuit. I think it's only like four kilometers return. So super mellow hike. Should be nice though. Already in the rainforest. Loving this national park. Super close to the Gold Coast too. So well worth visiting if you happen to be here and you want to get away from the whole hustle bustle and you know, kind of over the top stuff that you get at the Gold Coast. All right, so let's get on the trail. Here we go. Where are we going, Leash? This way. That way. So we're going around here and doing the yellow one. The red one is 17 kilometers. More for experts, it's grade four. But yeah, let's just do the little the little loop. Are you saying we're not experts? Don't think we'll be back in time for dinner if we do the big one. What? No faith. Hiking trail is sick. Going through this crazy little cave now. Woohoo! Rock over Hank. Whoa. So here we go again. It's no surprise. So we have two options. You got the Twin Falls via the cave, 
or Twin Falls via the creek. Definitely the cave. All right, we're in the cave now. It narrows up to be like kind of a, kind of tapers off to the top. Maybe 10, 15 meters high right here. Goes way up there. Really, would you go any other way to get to the Twin Falls? I don't think so. It's a cave monster. <laughs> So down here at the bottom of Twin Falls now and I found a spot to take a photo. There's a really interesting log that's coming out of the water here at the pool at the bottom of the falls. And I'm getting that in the foreground and setting up the falls in the background and tumbling down into this pool. It's a really nice shot. I've got the A7R Mark III set up with a 16 to 35 GM lens. Shooting in that F11 and a thirteenth of a second right now, ISO 100. But I'm probably going to put some filters on and start focus stacking. Get a couple of shots where the log is in focus and then the waterfalls are in focus. And then I'll blend that together in Photoshop. I think it's going to turn out to be really nice. There's no sun right now, so it's actually even light. It's a little bit flat, but I think we can boost that up as well uh, when we're doing the editing. So, we'll snap off a couple of shots now and see how it turns out. Almost back at the car park now, we came across this really cool sign that tells you all the Aboriginal names and meanings from around the area, which is very fascinating. Although it doesn't tell you who the Aboriginal and Indigenous people are up here, like what yeah. tribe or mob they're from. So close, almost got it right. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's some really interesting words on there like Kumbuyana. What's Kumbuyana? Sweetheart. Oh, you're, oh. you're my Kumbuyana. Uh, Bellaringa is two falls. Uh, Waringa means cool place. Uh, there's some, yeah, some really cool ones on here. Oh, Punyara. Punyara. Punyara is beautiful. That's really awesome. They should have more of these spread out over Australia so you're learning the Aboriginal language of the local like mob in the area. I think so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Gumulara, big waterfall. <laughs> Alright, we just got back to the car park. It was a lovely hike. It was, it was absolutely beautiful. You could do it in about two hours, but we took about three and a half hours because we kept stopping for different spots for photographs. If you are into that, I suggest give yourself a bit more time. I think today's walk was a little bit more beautiful than yesterday's walk yeah. at Perling Brook Falls, but the waterfall pool yesterday was mm. definitely a little bit more interesting. I, I feel the same way as well. Either way, just come here, do both. Yeah. Well worth doing. And now we're going back to the campground. We'll set up camp there for the afternoon. You could do both uh, hikes in a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. If you're ambitious. <laughs> so we're home now, back in the van. Jared's doing some work. So I've just made him a hot chocolate, but... Every hot chocolate needs marshmallows. Oh yeah. That's what we do on a cold day here in Australia. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we bring out a new video every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure.